right, uh, good afternoon, everyone. I appreciate you joining us. Uh, yeah, looking forward to get out and, and, and practicing today. Been, been watching a lot of tape on Indiana. I think um, Coach Allen has done a tremendous job there with, with that program. Their uh, their defense is playing really well. Their offense is is um, you know gives you a lot of problems. And, and I know they, they've been you know maybe up and down in a few games, but but they give you a lot of problems. Their their young quarterback Ramsey is doing a really good job. Um, you know, he's, you can tell he's got a great understanding of their offense. He can beat you throwing it or running, um, really gets himself out of trouble uh, when it's there. That does a great job of that. And, and uh, you know, so I think they've been very effective throwing the ball and, and, and also also running the ball. So um, overall, as, as a team, um, you can tell they, they've bought in. They're playing really hard. Like I said, I think Coach Allen's done a tremendous job there. And so they, they, they present um, issues in all phases that we're, we're working through right now and going through the film and practicing and, and, and trying to get us in the, in the right spot. So, um, with that, any questions? Terp Talk is brought to you by Viner Consulting, your source for point-of-sale systems that give you business control and manage your inventory. Hardware, software, training, and support from NCR and Revel Systems. Call Viner Consulting at 301-251-2900 or visit us at oneviner.com. Coach, uh, a little more about Ramsey. Uh, you know, he's one of those guys, those dual threat guys. What, did, what sort of pressure does that put on you guys? Yeah, I mean, it's you know, when you if you're gonna pressure, you got you got to be sound in your pressures, and not not give them give them an escape. Um, you got to you got to pick and choose your your battles there, and then and then just four man pass rush really becomes dangerous if you're if you're not. Um, you know, really cognizant of where your fit is in that rush because things open up, and um, you know he he's done a really nice job of, of throwing the ball. You know, I, I think he's made good decisions and, and putting the ball in the right place too. So he's not not just a, a guy back there running around, but he, but he certainly has that capability and, and has been effective in in uh, you know a lot of their games, I and mean, that, that that stands out when you watch him. such a thing as a quick fix week to week, or is it something that um, you guys are trying to kind of scramble and figure out right now? No, the, the base issue has been consistency. I think, you know, obviously our, our, our ineffectiveness to get, get to the quarterback and, and affect the quarterback has, has been an issue, but, you know, no, I, I, there's no there's no quick fix or scramble or anything. It's just we got to be more consistent. We got to we got to play at a higher level. We we've played good defense at times this year, um, especially earlier in the year, and we, we we need to get back to that. So, um, and I think our guys will. I, I think they understand the message too. There's been a real clear message this week, and um, I think they'll respond. When you're in a stretch like this, playing the teams you're playing, um, how, how do you measure progress? I mean, obviously you. Wanted to be wins and losses, but how do you go about measuring progress of a program of a team uh, with with the schedule you have with, with the team you have right now? Well, I mean, progress is measured, you know, individually, and every 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 circumstance is its own. You know, every every player, every unit. Um, you know, I think there's a lot of progress going on. I, I think you know when you look at the grand scheme of things, where, where we're at. Uh, <laughs> And you know the adversity we, we've we've been we've been hit by. I mean, you know what? It's gonna make us better for it in the long run. It certainly will. Like, like there, there's a lot of guys right now in positions they haven't been in before, uh, in terms of like mentally and, and having to fight through things, or young guys playing and maybe maybe aren't ready to do what they're supposed to do, or you know whatever whatever the case might be. It makes us better in the long run. Um, so it, it'll make us stronger as a team. I, I think. Um, you know, it really makes you look in the mirror and decide, okay, how much does your teammate, how does he mean to you? How much, do, do, you know, do you care about being accountable to one another and all those things when, when, you, when you go through some adversity? So to me, I, I look at it, it's a painful process to go through, certainly, uh, but it, it's, it's one we're going to benefit from in the long run. You know, we're, we're building this thing the right way and, and uh, for the long term. And so this, this is part of it, you know, no one, no one, uh, Planned on uh, on the injuries that, that we had happening, but those, those, that's part of the game. It happens, and so you know, there's certainly things we can look back or reflect on and say we, we could have handled and done better. Um, but that that's that's part of the learning process. So that's the exciting thing to me. I, and we still got a, a team full of guys that play hard for one another, and, and it really matters to them. Um, and so we're learning a lot of these things together. And it, it'll make us better. And just to follow up when you're in a when you're in a division like you guys are in, and you've been in it before in other places. 
specifically. Do, do you have to sort of um, change expectations or sort of have measured expectations because you know how tough the vision is? No. No, you don't. What, what you got to do is, is is get to work and develop the guys you have and recruit to the, to the level that you need to be at, which is which is what we're doing. So we're we're you know, but it, it just doesn't ha it doesn't happen overnight, you know. And, and I, trust me, I, I have the least amount of patience of probably any human you'll meet. So it's not like, you know, I I, I get it, but it just it just is what it is. Like that's that's what we got to do, you know. And, and I think, um, you know. Us at full strength was probably a little bit, a little bit ahead of, ahead of the, the curve where we thought we were going to be. You know, like like there there were, there were some things going there, and then and that, that's not where we are right now. But but that's okay. We we, we just got to keep developing, improving. There's there's a lot of good football here, football players on that team, and um, we just, we we got to just just play to our capabilities and play like it, and not not let our circumstances affect us or define us, and and just go. And so um, that message has been delivered. I think. Different ways over the, over the past couple of weeks, I think it's it's finally resonating with the team. I, I I I've seen a difference. I think there's been a breakthrough right now. Of okay, like you know, let, let's let's put put all aside the, the woe is me and whatever. Let's just, let's pick it up and, and go play. And uh, and that's what we got to do. And that's it's it's a great lesson in life, great lesson in football. Hard one to go through, certainly. But but I, I wouldn't want to go through with any other group than who we have. Coach, homecoming this week. Uh, how have you as a coach, you know? Embrace this without letting it, uh, you know, get in the way of everything. What do you like the most about homecoming? Uh, you know, because you're building for the future, you're playing for the present, but you're also kind of saluting the past. Um, we haven't spent much time on homecoming yet. Uh, uh, I, I think. The important thing about homecoming to me is, and this is something we talk about a lot, but obviously we emphasize this week as we get later in the week of just talking to our guys about, um, you know, some of the great players that have. have preceded them and come before them. Some of the great coaches that have preceded us. And, and I, I think when you're part of a program, those are important things to, to realize, study, understand. And um, we, we certainly, we take time doing that. And this is one of those weeks we, we, will, we will make emphasis of that because I think it's important. There, there's, you know, when, when, when you're sitting in a room at whatever your position is, you're sitting there, there's a standard that's been, been set by those that came before you. And it's, it's your job to uphold that standard or raise that standard. That, that's, that's what you do when, when, you, when you enter a program. And, and, our program has had a lot of great players. I mean, you, you go through the list, there, there's been a lot. And so um, those, those things we'll talk about with them. But as of right now, it, it's been focusing on, on you know, making improvements on the field and, and all those things right now. Uh, DJ, in terms of uh, the offense and, and what Max has been able to do the last few weeks, it, it seems as if, you know, I mean, obviously he had a tough break. The first the pick six was a fluky kind of play. Uh, but where do you see him in terms of progress or, or, or just making better decisions uh, from, from week one as a starter to, to going into it? Yeah, I, I think you, when, when you're around him every day or seeing him, especially on the sideline, there's a noticeable difference of just the when, when you're looking at like a guy as a veteran in, in the eyes during a game, there's a difference of when, you know sometimes when it's a guy that's, that's, that hasn't quite. So he, he's the experience, obviously, he's helping him. I think he's much more comfortable. Now I think I think Max like he feels like I'm the starting quarterback as opposed to I've been moved into this role because there was injuries. Now it's like this is my job, and that's that's what you want from that guy, you know. And, and so um, it's not all been perfect. Obviously, there's plenty to clean up, but I, I think he's embracing that, that role. And, and and now with the amount of experience he has, and he's been he's been hit. He's been, he's seen a lot of different looks. We played some some good defenses. Um, you know, again, I, I think it's helped him and. And so, I mean, that's an exciting thing for us. I, th I think I think his teammates can, can see and feel the same thing. Coach, can you talk about the role of the tight end in the offense? And if there's any plans you can talk about about making them into pass catchers as time moves on? Yeah. Um, you know, it, it's, uh, yeah, I mean, it, it's it's built where they can certainly be an active part of that, that role. And, and we would like them to be. And as we move forward, that, that will be, you know, Something we, we work on and, and build on. It's just, you know, th th there's there's been been some things that have happened offensively, and so uh, you know we, we've got to kind of kind of build to our strengths and re really, um, you know, play to where we can be successful. So right now those guys are doing a great job for us blocking. They're they're they're, you know, almost like another lineman in there at times. But but certainly the the way this offense is is, is built and when we're able to to go at full strength, I think. Um, 
you know, they, them being an active member in the, in the throw game really helps us. I think you can stretch the field vertically in, in, the, in the middle of the field in particular. I think it helps. So that, that, that's something we'd like to get to. Did you see Mike Germain the other day tried to get the guy, the defense together and, and to kind of send a message as a senior leader? Um, have you just seen that from a guy like him and some of the older guys, um, just how fast the season's gone and just maybe the urgency of, you know, there's five games left and they're trying to, Kind of to, to kind of rally the younger guys. Yeah, um, Jermaine is. I mean, he is our leader. He, he, you know, I, I don't know what instance you're talking about in particular, but I mean, he, he's he's done that quite a bit. I mean, that that that's his role. It's what he does. He's a great leader for us. A great football player. Um, Jermaine understands the urgency, like, like most seniors do. But um, I think he, even at a greater level, he, he's a, you know. He's a pro at his job. I mean, he, he really cares about his performance, about his teammates, about you know studying the opponents, studying um, our entire defense. He, he's just he's everything you'd want your, your middle linebacker to be. So um, you know he's done that all year long. Um, you know, obviously now and where we are, maybe maybe that that stands out a little more. But but he he was doing that back in you know back in August preseason camp. So um, that that's who he is, and we, you know we certainly love having him. All right, thank you.